I don't know if it's that difficult to organize. Um, I mean, I'm not opposed to meeting. It's not like I'm trying to shirk meeting with everybody. I don't want to. I don't want to overstep the role of the board in far as far as proper governance because, it's, like I said, it's usually the administration's job to deal with that. And we do have we do have representatives on the board of trustees, and that's really the proper forum to get ideas back and forth. You know, the alumni association has representatives on the board that can bring issues to us and take back comments. It, it's again, it, it's that's the way it's done. That's the proper governance. Then I'm sure there are, but this is the model we have here, and it's been, and try it. Before you want to condemn it, try it. When was the last time that the Cooper bylaws were amended, and who was our, who can have the power to do this? The, the Board of Trustees has the authority to amend the bylaws. Oh, yeah, it was, uh, this year was amended to allow the alumni to present it. Okay. Well, you said it was 2002, there was some amendment. Do you know what the amendment was? Okay. There might have been another the, amendment since then. I don't know. But the possible answer. I'm going to go way back here. Hi, I'm Mr. Epstein. My name is Louis Lim. I'm a recent graduate of the Green Union, uh, just earlier this year. So, um, I'm here because I feel like much of the um, conflict with this issue isn't so much that, oh, somebody has a brilliant solution to our deficit crisis, but it's the way that this information has been handled. And it seems all too abrupt to lay it on the table that says, oh, we're going to vote for a tuition institution. Because as a recent graduate, I feel that that fundamentally changes the the ideology of the school. Furthermore, as you have mentioned, um, we have a systemic deficit issue. So, if we charge tuition to every student, 1,000 students a year, at 38,000, let's say, um, that comes with a certain expectation. A, a full tuition scholarship means that we have the means and the capability to upgrade the institution. You know, so we no longer have to go to books or our research. We have a full library. So the exponential cost of that expectation, expectation I do not feel is sustainable with the full tuition uh, system. So I would like to ask you whether there's a way tonight that you and everyone that's here, the entire student body and, well, most of the student body and some of the faculty. Uh, is there a way we can work towards a solution so that there isn't suddenly a vote by the board for a tuition institution? Okay, again, uh, the vote is not imminent on this issue. Okay, again, we're not in a crisis right now. If we don't make changes soon, we'll be in a crisis in a few years. So there's no vote pending on this issue. This is being investigated as a one potential possibility for a solution. As part of, again, tuition alone, we don't expect to solve the problem. You know, we, it has to be a multifaceted you know, solution. Just like there was no one thing to point the finger at and say this is the cause, we don't expect there to be one solution. Right, but solve. I feel like charging tuition as a way to So, you know, if it boils down to a choice, I mean, you know, 
you know, if you can't have both, you want to sacrifice quality or you want to sacrifice tuition. And it's an unfortunate choice that we may come down to. And again, we're trying to avoid that. It's not a foregone conclusion. It's being looked at. How can you upgrade that quality once you charge tuition? We have 15 minutes. I want to get as many points as we can as possible. So I think we can invite over there. I'll try to get you next. I have a question about the governance of the school and about how the administration and the board work together. I don't want Halloween the president so the president has heard a lot of the questions that we asked him from the board. And, and now you defer to several of the questions saying that you know that's the administration's job to enforce these policies. So who's really in charge and who indicates what? You know, you guys are voting for the tuition, but they have to enforce the tuition. Was it the same questions going back and forth or a different question? Because each facet, the board of trustees and the administration, each have their own role and responsibility. So if you ask me something that the administration is responsible for, I'll tell you that. That's the Could you elaborate on where the responsibility breaks down, like who has more responsibility specifically? Uh, if you gave me a specific topic, I can tell you who I think, you know, we responsibility. <laughs> well, again, the board is here to watch over the financial condition of the school and to set certain policies, and the administration's job is to follow that. Okay? Jim's always charged.